Day 72. Another sleepless night fades in this static purgatory, haunted by the presence of a faceless, bloodthirsty army. Rations are dwindling. Meanwhile, the unrelenting barbarian tribes from the checkout regions are showing no signs of surrender. I feel crushingly smaller each day looking into the ceaseless horizon of cubicles, mourning for the souls lost in this endless hellscape. My mind is at ease, however, for I have proven myself invaluable to my tribe. I will fight for the ones I love. For her. Because I know that is what makes me a hero. But above all else, I am burdened with the knowledge that there is nothing in this world more dangerous and destructive than the monsters in this endless Swedish night. Oof, that's a splinter. The store is now closed. Please exit the building. He's alive! Quick, get the man something to drink! Is he from the outside? I hope he's okay. Broken boy, what do they call you? I, uh... This question should be really easy. Might have something to do with that awful spike in your noggin. Are you guys, like, road warriors? Can you tell me what's going on? I can't remember anything that's happened, and I'm kind of pissed off that I remember Mad Max more than my own- What are you doing? We're supposed to be looking for vending machines, not more mouths to feed. We're hunter-gatherers. What's the point of hunting if we can't even fight off the bigger tribes? If we patch this guy up, maybe he'll help us out. The point is, we can't keep getting distracted every time we see another lost smock trapped in the aisles. It's better distraction than your stupid journal. Hey, documenting is crucial. It's how we remember society. Have you already forgotten what convicts look like? Because this guy hasn't even ditched his prison guards. Oh, come on. Like we're all saints in the land beyond the parking lot. Remember what the elder said. Second hand, second chance. <laughs> Is that a joke? You are starting to sound like the greedy tribes from the self-serve area. Whoa, mate. You still with us? We've got to get them out of here. I'll grab his legs. Ah! Where am I? Are we in a womb? Are we in a womb? The <laughs> absolute basket case. I'm afraid you're still on the infinite Ikea, son. What's an infinite Ikea? What's an Ikea? It's a magic place, Ikea is. A benevolent realm of lamps and leather. A wondrous dimension of decor and deck chairs. As far as your wallet can take you. With cushions so soft. It's like drowning in the tits of an angel. Wow. But this one, this one's quite shit. Something's off about this one. Do all Ikeas have those faceless people? I can't tell you, but as I always say, never trust a man without facial features. My name's Elder Freestanding Bathroom Cabinet, by the way, head of this tribe. And if you'd like to stay here, I'm going to need you to protect your fellow survivor. You think you can handle that? I, uh, sure, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. That was easy. I hereby induct you into the Canopy tribe. Your clan name is Thorn, on account of that shard of wood stuck in your head. Talk to you later. Supper's in an hour. Thorn, huh? Not bad. At least it's not stethoscope. Ew. Can't imagine having it. That's my name. Oh. But please call me Steth. Were you found with a stethoscope stuck in your head? <laughs> no, I'm just the closest thing to a doctor in this tribe. 
So, like a dentist, a nurse? Livestock vet. Right. Well, thanks for dealing with my head splinter. No problem. I'm happy to check up on your wood anytime. Hey, he's awake. Sorry to hear about your memory loss. Eh, I'll forget about it. <laughs> you cheeky fucker. We haven't been formally introduced. I'm Tallboy. This is Hutch. Good morning. This is Hope. How do you do? And over there is Ottoman Davenport Allen Keys. Can you quiet down? I'm trying to scribe over here. And that's Stanley. Don't mind him. He's a bit of a twat. I don't even know why he's called Stanley. Stanley isn't really a furniture name anyway. On a high pedestal, however. Is that just the chair? Because you've been sitting on that. <laughs> Fellow Ikeans, I am proud to announce that I have found some Lego. That's what I'm talking about! Talking about. I'm not sure how it got in here. Also, I am proud to draw unneeded attention to the latest edition of our tribe, Thorn the Impaled. Legend! Yeah. Amisa. 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 Ikea. 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 So, Fawn, you must be a pretty ratty fella to survive getting stabbed in the head, right? I guess so. I've still got no feeling in my left knee. This is gonna sound forward, but can we spar? <gasps> but, but you're so big. I'll go easy on you. Good. It's my first time. Try to disarm me! You were thinking too long! <laughs> Teamwork! Oh my god, this is so really cool! Owie. You've only prolonged this inevitable pillow fight. Retreat! That's right, we landed on some pillows. That's our thing. You've done saved me life, Thorn. Did I do that? How did he do it? That's crazy! Day 73. Another sleepless night lurks over this hostile territory, anguished by the presence of a new face. Rations are dwindling, meanwhile the power-mad nobody from the land beyond the parking lot is showing no signs of surrender. I feel crushingly small each day looking into the ocean of praise he receives from these victims. I mourn for these lost souls in this endless hellscape. My mind is in darkness, for I have proven myself invaluable to my tribe. Yet no matter how many times I fight for the ones I love, they can't see that I am the hero. This cannot be my burden. This damn fucking shit motherfucker fucking monster! There was nobody in the land beyond the parking lot. Just please, let me have this. 